Now, let us derive an expression for the drift velocity of an electron on application of an electric field. Suppose you have a conductor like this, any conductor, and there are electrons. Before application of electric field, the electrons move in random direction due to the thermal speeds. There is no particular direction for the motion of electron. Electron can move in any direction. Let this be u1, this be u2. That means the velocity of individual electrons u3, etc. Like that, there are n electrons. So the average initial velocity, or we call it average, average thermal speed thermal speed or velocity you can call that as u average since velocity is a vector quantity you have to mark the vector sign that is equal to u1 plus u2 plus u3 plus etc up to un will be 0 by whole divided n the average velocity must be 0 because uh, when in, at the temperature that is room temperature we not we never get a current from any conductor because the thermal velocity average thermal velocity is zero okay now what if for the same conductor if i apply an electric field c that is if i apply an electric field across the same conductor let the electric field is, is directed from left to right. E. Here it will be positive side and here it will be negative. Electric field will always be from positive to negative. Now what happened to the electron is all the electrons will drift towards the left direction or elect electrons will drift in the direction opposite to the electric field. So that their velocities will be in the same direction like this. Let V1 be the velocity of this electron and V2 this electron, V3 this electron and there are so many electrons in here. Every electron will drift it towards the left. So that V1, the velocity of the electron, this electron will be, you know the kinematic equation V equal to U plus A T. That is U1 plus A into acceleration. Acceleration is due to the electric field times time or relaxation time tau 1. Relaxation time means suppose if I draw this electron, the electron will drift it towards left and it will collide with another electron. So the time interval between the collision of an electron is called the relaxation time. Uh, uh, up to that time the velocity increases with the time. Okay. Now Similarly, we have V2 is equal to V2 is equal to U2 that is the initial velocity of the second electron plus acceleration times tau 2. Acceleration is due to electric field, so acceleration remains the same for every electron. Now writing like this, we have Vn will be Un plus A acceleration times tau n. Now how, how will you find the average velocity average the velocity acquired after electric uh, after the application of electric field we have v average v average is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 plus etc up to vn whole divided by the total number of electrons that is v average will be v1 you know it is u1 plus a tau 1 plus u2 plus a tau 2 plus etc up to un plus a tau n whole divided by n. 
and when you simplify this you will get v average is simple to this can be written as u1 plus u2 plus u3 plus etc up to un plus you can take this acceleration as common so a into tau 1 plus tau 2 plus etc up to tau n all divided by n so this will be v average is equal to u1 plus u2 plus u3 plus etc up to u n all divided by n plus a into tau 1 plus tau 2 plus tau 3 plus etc up to tau n whole divided by n. But we already know the average of the thermal speeds is thermal speed is 0. So that this will be 0. This will be 0. So V average is equal to A into this is the average of the all relaxation time so it will be tau. We have tau is equal to tau 1 plus tau 2 plus etc up to tau n divided by number of electrons. Now this V average is called the drift velocity called drift velocity denoted by Vd. So, Vd is equal to A times tau. Now, when you look at the forces acting on an electron, suppose let us consider an electron, let us consider this electron, the force will be in this direction. The force acting on the electron will be in this direction, but the force is provided by this electric field, so that F is equal to force acting will be due to the electric field Fe. But according to Newton's law, you have force is equal to mass into acceleration of the body. Here mass of the electron into acceleration of the electron is equal to acceleration is in this direction, clear, towards the left. But the electric field is towards right. And electrostatic force is equal to charge that is Q into electric field that is expression for electrostatic force. But here charge of the electron we have to write it as minus E that is minus 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb. So MA is equal to minus E into E also acceleration is equal to minus E E divided by M. Now you can plug in the value of uh, A in this equation. Therefore, drift velocity V D will be minus E E by M into tau. Clear. This is the expression for the drift velocity. Clearly from the equation itself you can see that the drift velocity is directly proportional to the electric field applied. Clear.